with that backup car. A number of drivers deep in the field to start today's race that we will keep our eye on. But as we get the green flag, we focus on the front. Kurt Busch, the pole winner in a Dodge. Jamie McMurray outside in a Chevrolet. Fans on their feet as we get ready to go racing for the 15th time in 2010. We're glad you're with us for NASCAR on TNT. We are green at Michigan. So, welcome everybody to round 15 in the Sprint Cup Series. We now have a chance to breathe and are able to talk. That was a very sketchy opening couple laps here. I can't run the bottom, as you all very well saw. I get very loose. I'm still very loose. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I can't handle the bottom, and then I don't know what was going on with Kurt Busch and Jimmy, but they were slow. So we got kicked back a bit, but then I saw the open, and so I was able to get up to the outside and try to make up some of the spots that we lost after that start. That was that was crazy, but uh, yeah. So welcome to race 15. Um, here at Michigan. Um, we ran pretty good here last season. Hopefully we can get a, uh, a repeat performance, except this time we go to victory lane, unlike we did in the uh, spring when we finished fourth. Little contact, we're okay. Thank you, Casey. It reminds me of how the card likes to hook sometimes. Inside. So a little beating and banging. Going on clear, Michigan clear. style. Inside, inside. Can't imagine that was all that great for the car, but um, hopefully we didn't hurt it too bad. Uh, we still got the point lead, obviously. We're not going to lose any points to anybody if we're winning the race, which we did at Pocono. Uh, tied for the most laps led, 18, so um, that was cool to get that. We haven't had, I think, a most laps led award most of the season, if at all. Uh, yeah, we're just cruising. Where are we qualified in seventh? Uh, Burton's got the lead. Hamlin, Logano, and Biffle. 
they are all with him. Whoop, my bad. Burton's up there in the lead. Hamster, Logano, and Biffle. I apologize, Denny Hamster. Didn't mean to call you by your fake name. <laughs> I'm just being stupid. Anyway. We are, so Rudiman and Montoya are the next cars ahead of us. They're four and a half seconds up. And then we are seven seconds back, well, eight and a half seconds back to the leaders. How many cars do we have in our group? Everybody. Okay. Running our Mopar paint scheme that we typically run at Homestead. Being in the Motor City, it made sense to run a Mopar themed scheme. I also picked this one accidentally. I meant to grab my blue Oliver's IPTV car and grabbed the wrong blue car. So, whoops. <laughs> but it works out because, yeah, like I said, we're in Michigan, Motor City. So it all works out in the end. Um, we got some dirt news for tomorrow's race to cover real fast while I'm thinking about it. Um, we have two new drivers. Uh, Jordan and Joshua. Um, they will be starting with us the 83 car and the 57 car in tomorrow's dirt race. Um, now, the schedule had us going to Langhorn. So, preseason, ran Langhorn, liked it, had a lot of fun. Preseason, we had 16 cars. We're now up to 26 in the field, including myself. And the problem is, I did not know Langhorn only supported 21 cars, which is weird because it's a mile long track and the half miles can support more, but whatever. So, Langhorn has been dropped and due to not really having um, much of a thought process at this time, like, I just can't seem to think of how I could change the schedule. We're just skipping Langhorn, going right to Devil's Bowl. And we will run uh, Langhorn's replacement on Thursday. So, that'll give me some time to think. Because I'm trying to run... I, was, I had everything all set up and then to, to do the dirt race today. And then I was getting ready to... Do, get Langhorns qualifying in and everything, get the field set so I can just jump right into it after Michigan. And uh, so I just was like, all right, well, I got the time today. I want to get two in. So we're just going to throw, throw it to Devil's Bowl and we'll figure out the rest when we get there. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a week that I'm actually very excited for for the race. And I mean, we have a lot of fun stuff. Ah, dang it. I looked down at my schedule. We have some high-speed rim riding at Michigan, which I was hoping would go a little bit better than it is. But, you know, I'll take seventh at this time. Like, whatever. <laughs> if we had been able to get off to a better start and stayed with the draft, we would have been in much better shape. But then we have uh, some dirt racing, like always, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's the final push to make the playoffs. Next week starts the playoffs for the dirt series. Um, Road America for the Nationwide on Wednesday. And on Friday, we stay in a road course theme and go to Sonoma. So, fun week. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this next couple weeks actually the race and we have um, Daytona uh, for Cup and Nationwide 
next week. And then, um, I always like New Hampshire. I don't really have any problems with that. I like flat tracks. Um, and then, obviously, we have the playoffs starting for the Dirt Series. Then we got some trucks at IRP. Um, and we have the Brickyard 400 the following week. So, I mean, we got some pretty fun stuff coming up I'm looking forward to. And then, of course, as soon as all that starts winding down, we'll be getting to the point where we have the Dirt Champ. Um, and then we have the hot seats, which are being figured out. And then, um, obviously, the NASCAR chase. So, and then we go to the off season, and then we go to 2011. But that's getting a little bit too far ahead of myself. We're actually pulling away from the pack behind us. We're riding solo. But I just, I'm not catching anybody in front of me. I need some help. 12 seconds behind Rudiman and 3 seconds ahead of Kane. Yeah, we didn't gain or lose any time. Not even a tenth of a second on Rudiman that lap. But we pulled away on Casey Kane by 8 tenths. We're losing about a second a lap to the leaders. The only thing I can hope on is that the leaders, well, to put it bluntly, I hope the leaders get caught up in traffic and possibly take each other out. Rim riding, though, the one benefit of it is that I don't, I don't remember what I did last season. Did we take tires or did we not? I think we took two. I want to say we took two. But. No, it was under caution, though, I believe. So. There's only going to be like 10 to go by the time we'd have to pit. I'm going to probably go fuel only. Because we're holding up really well in the tire department. Um, they haven't started lapping anybody yet. Yeah, no one's going down a lap yet. So, let's see. Regan Smith, Kyle Bush have worked their way around Casey Kane, so we'll see. Maybe they'll get up here, and we can actually draft and work together and try to reel in that next pack ahead of me. Because if I had one car with me, just one car, I think we could make it up there. Because they're not that much faster than me. Alright, well now I lost a second. And the cars behind me are catching me now, so I don't know what's going on. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, we are the slowest car on the track. I don't understand. We're not really running that different of a pace. Ah, well, you know, Casey King could have been holding them up. And now that they've got past him, they might be faster, which is fine. And they, but they were closer. We were probably getting some draft from behind. Yeah, they're catching me now. They gained another three tenths. Oh, well, just Regan Smith did. I only said, I said I only need one car, so I will take that one car, because we are 27 seconds back, 7th, 
24 laps into a Michigan race. This is rough. It did it. Lap 25. I don't remember the exact lap that happened last season, but I know it happened. Felt it starting to go. That hurts. Lost two seconds. It's actually not terrible to only have lost two seconds when that happens to you on the backstretch at Michigan. All right, so he's two and a t two point two behind. All right. So I don't want to get too aggressive with my line. Wear it out my tires too much. Especially if I'm going to be sliding around, burning out my tires, locking them up. Um, Hamlin's out front. Uh, yeah, we got Hamster, Burton, Biffle, Logano, Montoya, Rudiment, myself, Regan Smith, Kyle Bush, and Casey Kane. Um, that's your top ten. And then Newman Gordon, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, McMurray, Truex, Conway, Keselowski, Gilliland, Tony Stewart, Travis Quapple. Get to the rest of these guys here in a second. Uh, Mears, Hornish, Elliot, Elmendinger, Edwards, Labani, Speed, Ambrose, Robbie Gordon, Kevin Harvick, Boyer, Pappas, Mark Martin, Paul Menard, David Reagan, Kurt Busch, Elliot Sadler, David Stremme, Junebug, and Kenseth. Kenseth is now 31st. Something happened back there, I think. The standards went all over the place. Wait, pitting? They're pitting early. I think they're pitting early. Whoa, there's only 10 of us on the lead lap now. Unless someone crashed. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Oh, that was close. Everything kind of got froze up for a second. And then, so Stewart's on pit road still. They must have been some sort of minor incident. They sorted it out, no caution needed. All right, so that's okay. Um, Hamlin's 6.4 behind me. So if we can go, let's see, we're halfway. 
30. So a half a can is about eight laps. So we need at least one can of fuel for the finish, it looks like, right? Uh, what's the recommend? One can, yeah. So one can. 32 laps in, we just almost matched our fastest lap of the day. Granted, we haven't really had much drafting help at all today, so our draft or our lap times probably could be better. I just don't think I'm going for tires. I think I'm going to go fuel. Try to make up some time. I don't think we're going to make up a whole lap worth the time, but... It's worth a shot. Uh, Tony... Tony's out, pissed in. So, yeah, he must have blown up. And then just jumbled up everything for everybody. Tony Stewart, he comes in here, um, where is he? Oh wow, he fell all the way to 19th in points after the last race. This is gonna hurt Tony. Yeah, we come in here with a 217 point lead over Burton. Sorry, I didn't mean to bop my mic. Kevin Harvick, after a rough race last week, he comes in here sixth in points. Burton and Kyle Busch, they're two and three in the points. Mark Martin and Kurt Busch round out to the top five. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hamlin's one spot away. Matt Kenseth is one spot away of falling out. And at the going rate of how this race is going, Hamlin's going to jump into the into the chase. Kenseth will fall out. Uh, so Regan's now a lap down. So there's only ten of us on the lead lap, or seven of us on the lead lap. We're going to fight Hamster hard. Like he ain't getting me. He ain't getting past me easy. Don't like Hamster. far back. Hamster's 2.6. Uh, 11 to go. We're going to be at 10 to go. We're so close to pit stops that I definitely don't want to be stuck a lap down just in case a caution comes out. Well, we can make a caution come out. Just hook the 11. <laughs> Alright, 21 to go. Definitely here, I'm starting to get on a little bit harder. That right front's starting to talk to me. The rubber whisperer. 
Check on pit road, but I could have sworn we were racing. Oh, I think who's that? Light blue. Might have been McMurray. Um, yeah, it's Jamie McMurray. Oh, I can check though when I'm on pit road to see. I think Hamlin won this race last season on our poor luck. I didn't think he was going to get past me very easily. Alright, never mind. Oh, I don't have anybody behind me. Clear all around, all clear. There. Turns three and four though, we came flying back. Run him down to the bottom. With these tires being worn, I can definitely handle that a little bit easier. Battle in the hamster. Clear all around, all clear. Side, side. Clear all around, all clear. I think I just sent the ransom note to these tires' families. Oh my gosh, they were screaming. Wow, yeah, we smoked through that right front. Hamlin's pit in. Um, that was my fastest lap of the day. There's a draft right in front of me. If I could pull on this draft for a little bit, get some speed. Go in just to just go in no tires. Someone hit somebody or somebody blew up. Oh, someone blew up. Who is that? Oh, it's Boyer. Boyer blew it up. It's a draft. Trying to stay with some of these guys' draft. Might as well run down here when I can, because the car's tires are so worn. All right, I'll go up here. You guys give me some room. Clear all around, all clear. Side, side. Clear, clear. I can go one more lap. I'll pit on the next time. Try and get that lap led. There it is. All these tires are all nice and used and worn up. Might as well throw it down on the bottom, see what I can get. Um, really don't want to pit. We got to. 55, 42 seconds here, 42 seconds. Right 
We're gonna go right sides. No. I don't know where my pit stall is. Where am I? There we are. This always gets a little hectic under green fly. We don't do it as much anymore, I feel like. So I always get a little panicky on pit stops. Come on, drop the jack. Let's go. Thank you. Get away from me, Harvick. Last thing I need is our cars exploding because we can't damage each other on pit road. And then we get to the track and then we just explode. I was thinking for a second, I'm like, wait a minute, didn't Harvick blow up? And I remember it was Boyer. You're clear. So, where does that put us? Hamlin's the leader. He lapped Outside. me, so he must have just gone fuel only. Clear all around, all clear. Clear. Well, my car can handle worn tires right now. Outside. Fairly Outside. decent. Still there. So I'm back in 7th, so I didn't gain anything. Well, we gained the 5 bonus points for leading the lap. So that is a good thing, but I just really would like to get back on the lead lap. I just don't know where the 11 is. Um, he's three and a half seconds up the road. Ten laps here, but ten laps. Carl, inside, Ambrose, one, one, split one, in the side. middle. Clear. Hello, Mr. Kenseth. I would work with you, but I got Long too big side. of a run. Still there. We're going to go really fast and then race it right back up to the top. There we go. Awesome. Uh, still three and a half. We're still trying to catch back up to him. draft help. Like I said, I think I can get back up to the 11. Um, oh. Inside, inside. Three wide, inside. Stay high. I don't know what Bill Elliott was thinking. 37, four, five, two. Outside. Clear all around, all clear. You clearly have a faster car coming up hard on your outside. Just move down. Bill's been in the game a long time. I think he'd know that. But I'm not going to give him too much crap. It's Bill Elliott. Outside. Still there. How far back? Still three and a half. Stay down. Jeez. Everyone's coming up and top, like into my lane. Off these turns. I'm melting the right front, but. Only seven laps to go. Inside. It's down at yellow. Wow, we are really <laughs> melting that left front or that right front. Yeah, I haven't driven the car this hard the entire race. And, uh, I mean, I still can't catch Amlin, apparently, but... Damn it. Damn it. That's what I was afraid of. Caution. 
Number one. And they don't even deserve a free cam. <laughs> this is the reason for the caution. I kind of... You'll hear me say it at the end of this race. I, I was kind of leaning towards maybe a Casey Mears thing. And this is what the caution's for. Stopped on the track. So when we get the green flag, if I am correct, we will be getting the white flag. So it's a... I think I heard Adam call, called about call it a go white. It's a white checkered. All right, buddy, come to the green here. Um, flag finish. There we go. Right, I'm gonna You're send ready? it. I want my lead lap. Great flag. Because I don't really care about Hamlin. Wow, he got a terrible restart. Biffle on the outside got a run on him. Clear all around, all clear, outside. Still out there. Oh, 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 Hornish. Well, same is for position. And so is Regan right behind me. So we actually have a fight on our hands for seven. Not much of a fight. Hamlin's going to secure the win over Biffle. It looks like. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that'll do it. Let's see. Yeah, Hamlin, Biffle, Logano, Montoya, Burt, Rudiman, myself, Regan Smith, Sam Hornish, David Reagan, David Stremme, Jeff Gordon, Paul Menard, Max Pappas, Travis Quapple. Stremme with back-to-back -back good races. So, good for Stremme. Um, out of the race, we got Boyer, McMurray, and Stewart. Um, I'm not really sure what that caution was for. Maybe it was for Casey Mears. Um, but you all know, because you know how we do what we do, how we do. But yeah, that'll do it. Uh, again, tomorrow, no Langhorn. We're going to Devil's Bowl, and then the Langhorn replacement race will be on Thursday. And that will be the uh, cutoff race for the playoffs for the Dirt Series. Um, and then we got Road America. In Sonoma this week as well so I'm excited for this week we got playoffs getting ready to start we got new track at Road America we got road race in it we had a pretty decent race here at Michigan so with that uh, thank you everybody for all the love and support through likes comments subscriptions etc uh, means the world to me hopefully we're at 300 subscribers by the time this comes out um, if not hopefully we're close <laughs> Uh, but yeah, till next time, have a great one.